Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's muscle car video. I'm smiling for two reasons. One, because I've driven this car and it is wow. And two, I'm listening to a little Tom Petty in the background, man. How do you not have a great day hanging out here? Tom Petty in the background, Angie over there doing her thing. We're having a good time here at Fleming's. I'm going to see if I can't help you have a little better time as well. All right, so. Bell SS 454. Factory air conditioned, convertible, restored. How many are left, right? They did not build a lot of these because they were expensive. And this one here, loaded up and good looking. Check out the pictures, the underside, the engine, all the detail stuff that's gone in here. We have a couple small parts on the way. The car just arrived, but I wanted to do the video quickly because uh, they go so quickly when we get these cars. We're gonna look around. Important stuff to be thinking about. Why is this car different than others? Well, factory air conditioning is a huge deal. You can always put in vintage air, right? Five or six grand for that kind of stuff. But like things like this, a real deal flapper hood that really works the way it's supposed to. It's an awesome piece when you start it up and that flapper hood closes. The exhaust of 454 cubic inches pumping out the back. The correct wheels on here. Now this does have radial tires on it, which are incorrect for 1971, however, they make the drive 50% better. So if you're gonna show this car and you're gonna take it to big shows around, you might wanna think about getting a, a set of polyglass tires or we can put them on there for you as well. But if you're gonna drive the car, you only wanna drive them with these, these old school tires, make it drive like old school. This makes it drive so nice. And now you know why so many people uh, buy a Chevelle. That's why every time you're looking for a Chevelle and you go to check on it, it's sold and gone. You know why? Because this is a comfortable car, you can go take another couple out, go with the family somewhere, go to dinner with people. It is an awesome, awesome uh, event maker is what I call it. All right, let's get started and take a peek and walk around. All right, so some things to me that just make me smile when I think about it. I think about uh, the flapper hood on here and how great it looks. It just is so good. I think about the stripes. One of the things I want you to do is, if you're ever looking at a car, I want you to feel this, right? Because that right there... Uh, has been clear coated over a lot of time so that you don't feel the stripes. You say, well, Tom, why, why are you spending time on that? Why is that a big deal? Well, here's the reason why it's a big deal. is because if you don't clear coat over these stripes, right? You wash and wax the car and over time, the stripes start to tear and deteriorate. Then you have to repaint the whole thing. Here, the extra step, and yes, it costs more money, is they've cleared over the whole thing after they've done all the work on it, which is a lot. It's a whole another step uh, to painting a car, but this car was worth it, right? Lastly, we have uh, hood pins here. I think for my coffin, I'd like to have hood pins because I think to myself, these are probably the greatest muscle car thing ever. I don't even care if it goes fast. If it has hood pins on it, it already looks fast. All right, lastly, let's get into paint here, all right? And when I talk about paint, I like to ask you to do this. Don't look at the paint. You say, Tom, what do you mean don't look at the paint? You just said look at the paint. I said, no. What I'd like you to do is look at the items in the paint, right? The clearer the things are, the better the paint is. The fuzzier it is, the worse the paint is. We do the video so that you can see the quality of the paint. Has it been wet sanded and buffed, professionally waxed and detailed like this car? I want you to see why. So when I say that, look at the ceiling and the lights in the paint. Look how you can see every rib in the ceiling, every light, every beam, and look at the letters in there. Crystal clear, right? Crystal clear, exactly the way you'd want it. All right, so they say this is the money shot and, well, should we, should we? All right, we will. All right, let's take uh, a look under here. And again, remember we talked about this a few times where we have two different styles of people who want to own one of these. One of them wants to take it to a show, show off the car, open the hood, the trunk, and things like that. This car is exactly that kind of car too. The other person just wants to enjoy a cool car, doesn't really care about all this stuff here, wants it to run, drive, and be beautiful hopefully go up in value over time too. And again, that's what we have here as well. So either one, whichever you are, this suits that kind of person. Anyway, so I like to talk about some detail stuff under here because these are the things that people say, wow, that's great looking, but they don't really know why it's great looking. Let's talk about that for a second. So for instance, here we have our hood pins. So hood pins are really uh, a, a race car style thing that came into the, their own here in the, uh, in the 70s. And they really were a great addition to the cars. They look very uh, beautiful. If you've ever looked at a, a liftoff hood Roadrunner, you know, those hoods come off and they go on the roof so that they could service the engine and go drag racing. This is not designed to go drag racing, but it was designed to let you know this car is fast. In here is wall-to-wall -wall engine, Mark IV, big block 454 in here with very rare stuff, right? Not every car came with uh, the cal induction hood. They all have a raised hood. This is a big option. Many cars don't have it. This has a solenoid. It works the way it's supposed to, all right? 
has a wet air cleaner with the seal that goes there. This has air conditioning. Very few of these cars were air conditioned. It was a very expensive option for that for back in the day compared to the sticker price of the car. Air conditioning actually has come down a lot now because, uh, you know, it's just changed so much over time. GM hoses, the correct uh, decals that are here, the battery topper, the air conditioning, uh, little things like the manifolds that are on here. You might say, well, Tone, uh, why is that a big deal? Well, it's not really a big deal, but what it does is just makes the car more authentic, right? When you open the hood and you want to go to a major show, people would look at this and go, wow, this is really amazing, uh, especially uh, when you think about the originality of stuff that's under here. Again, we have power steering, which we forget to ask about a lot of time. This car has power steering. This has power disc brakes, right? And uh, all of that there is nicely detailed, very handsome, looks so good when you open the hood. I just wanted to make sure you could see that. And then when you're done with it, you're done showing off, right? You go ahead and just pin this up here. And out you go. This is a full-size car, but it comes with a full-size engine, right? But it's also usable, right? You could go away in the weekend in this car. This is not just a car to sit in your garage and look at if you don't want to. You could actually use this, right? It's beautifully detailed on it, as you can see. Uh, the F41 suspension hanging down under the big 12-bolt rear end that's there. New bumper, new taillights, new chrome, new emblems, new, 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 right? Uh, we talked about not being able to feel the stripes here because it's been clear coated over, which is really nice. I did wash my fingertips so I wouldn't scratch your car, okay? And then lastly, uh, the detail that's in here, right? You could, uh, you could uh, put some luggage in here, some soft bags, hard bags, right? Go away for the weekend. Maybe you just want to go to a car show, right? Seats, cooler, stuff like that all fits inside here. Uh, the jacking instructions are here. The warning about the pause attraction is there. This is like detail stuff. And why do I spend time on that? Because uh, when cars are restored to a different level, it's these little tiny things. These are not expensive, but they're time consuming and they're thought process things. Meaning somebody went ahead and put a spare tire jack and those kinds of things. 99% of the cars that we get, no spare tire and jack. 99% of the cars, no decals and things like that. This is what you're getting when you're getting a car from us. Fresh new mat back here. It's all detailed. It's ready to go. If you want to open the hood and the trunk at a car show, you could do that and be proud of it. If you just want to go away for the weekend, you'll feel good putting your stuff inside there too. I don't know why I get excited about this still. Uh, as many of these as has come through here, this is a great looking car, man. Look at this. You're walking up to it and it's your car. Yours, you drove to work on a Friday. And you go to go get in the car, and you're like, oh, this is it, man. This is why I bought this. And you go and you go to get in because you love the outside. But this is where you're going to spend your time, right? And you get in, close the door, shut off the phone, call whoever it is. Before you shut off the phone, I'm on the way, see you in a little bit, and shut off the feed. And what do I mean when I say shut off the feed? Well, I mean shut off the feed like uh, the boss email. Text, Facebook feed, Insta, like everything coming at you, all the info world, throw it away, right? It's up here, nice. All right. Uh, and turn it, turn it off. And just go for a drive. Go for a drive, and it'll change your life. Anyway, why do people love Chevelles? First off, because they're a full size car and they ride on a frame. Other cars like Camaros and things like that are subframes or Mustangs and Mopars where the frame is embedded inside the body. These just ride well, they feel solid, and they've always been great cars. This one has the Rally Dash with a 7,000 RPM tack. Speedometer, clock, and full gauges here, right? Not every Chevelle you're going to see has that. Fact, factory air-conditioned dash in all the right places. This has an upgraded audio system while it looks original. Uh, it is actually an upgraded digital sound system to look old school. However, you can stream music and stuff like that. You got pockets and console. Again, this is an option. They're mostly bench seat cars and having uh, the buckets and consoles really nice. And then lastly, like when you want to take somebody in a car, you can take another couple to dinner in this car. You can take the kids to dinner in this car and dinner and the food is a very different experience. Going to the uh, restaurant or going someplace yeah. in a car that sounds and feels like this. It's just nice, man. It's just very, very different. All right, so let's go ahead and close up the video and let's talk about why this Chevelle versus some others that you might look at. The cranberry red with black stripes, it's hard to beat. Factory air conditioning, right? Uh, power disc brakes, power steering, uh, power top. 
buckets and console, upgraded audio system, the dash with already has the tack and all the gauges in it. Like all these things cost a ton of money to put in a car that doesn't already have it. When you can get this and be driving it by next weekend, that's the name of the game. You can't restore a car. You can't buy a Chevelle 454 convertible and restore it for anywhere close to what you can buy this car for now. Somebody restored it, they drove it for a little while, and now the benefit is yours. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get this Chevelle Super Sport in your garage. If you don't mind. All right, so I do love to do the startup and sound because this car in particular sounds fabulous, but I also like to show the flapper because it's open right now because that's what it does at rest. And then it... That is so cool. Right? And then listen to that exhaust, just an idle. Let me put it in gear for you too, hold on. How good does that sound? So what's it like to drive? Whoa, whoa, that's a little bit of power. But look at this, man. You can just go for a drive down the country roads. Listen to the sound of that motor. Woo! How you doing? Nothing like a free flow exhaust and a big block engine. How does it feel to you riding with me right now? How's it feel? It's not all rattly. This car goes around the corners nicely. It's comfortable. Another couple could go with you for three friends. Or you could probably put five friends total, including yourself. If you consider yourself a friend. And it just rides like a Chevelle does, man. This is why people love these cars, because it's this is so comfortable. It's so easy to drive, and it's got that. Whoa! <laughs> How you doing? Just nice, man. Just nice. Now you know why. Now you know why it's like the, the most popular of muscle cars, right? There's not many of them. And I don't mean popular as in like everybody has one. It's actually the opposite. Most people don't have one, but it's the ones that go so quickly. When we get them in, they're gone because this is nice. And I never, it's almost, we almost never get them back. There's lots of people trade with us all the time. Now, people buy Chevelles like to keep them. All right, we're back out on the road, doing a little more driving. We we'll call this a therapy day. Put the top down, kind of forget about the day. Just go for a drive. You guys are riding with me, man. This is what you'd be doing if you owned this car. I'm watching the tack working. I'm watching the flapper hood work when I give it a little extra gas. I don't even want to turn on the radio yet because I'm just enjoying the that. Ha <laughs> ha.